Hello and welcome to the Data Science Practicum with Nile. In this course, we are going to cover all the required and necessary subjects for data science. So you can be a data science citizen or you can be a data science master after this course. So all these topics are some basic and required topics and we are going to cover all the required details using Nile. Actually, we are using NIME because NIME is in a philosophy of no-code approach. So you don't need to write any single line of code for completing your data science projects with NIME. Actually, NIME is an open source project and you can get the source code of it and you can also use it in your own projects, own professional projects. My name is Sadi. I have completed all my degrees, the baccalaureate, master and the PhD degrees in the computer science. And I'm dealing with the big data analytics and data science projects since 2010, starting from my postdoc degree in UT Dallas. I've worked as a consultant in many data science projects in the enterprise level companies. And today I have also operating my own data science company. We are providing some tools and products about data science, machine learning and big data solutions. So, me and my team has a deep knowledge in the data science industry and we have many customers from many different sectors, industries and we also provide solutions by using our own tools programmed by my team from scratch. In this course we are going to follow the data science project management approaches and I'm going to cover all three approaches which are very famous in the data science industry so you can answer the questions like where to start this project, how to follow up this project, what are the outcomes of each step of this project management technique, and then you can apply this end-to-end -end approach on your own projects. Also, I'm going to do lots of end-to-end -end practicum on NIME, and we are going to start the first practicum in very early classes, and we are going to keep the same approach in the rest of whole course. So, for example, after covering some clustering techniques, I'm going to load some real data sets and apply the clustering algorithms in the practicum part. Also, one important pre-note about the course might be the course has two parallel follow-up. In the first track, I'm going to cover the theoretical part only. So, if you don't have any theoretical background, if you don't know anything about data science, machine learning, or artificial intelligence, you can just follow up this track, and then you can build up a knowledge which is platform independent. So, you can use this knowledge in NIME, in SPSS, in Python, in R, in any environment in the data science industry. On the second track, I'm going to apply this theoretical background on NIME. So NIME is a very simple tool and you don't even need to write a single line of code. You can just drag and drop some tools and you can use your visual skills for building up a workflow diagram. And we are going to create lots of data science solutions using this tool. At the end of this course, you are going to get a deep knowledge about the data science algorithms. I'm not going to cover the machine learning part of this course. So, for example, after covering an algorithm, you can use this algorithm in all the ways possible and you can understand the advantages and disadvantages of each of these algorithms. So, I'm going to stay in the part of understanding and using the algorithms, not creating a new algorithm. Maybe if you want to go into the machine learning track, then you can maybe create your own algorithms, but it's not a topic in this course. Of course, for this knowledge, you also need to cover all the topics I have covered in this course. So in any case, if you are starting to the data science world, this course content will be helpful for all the possible cases. We are going to start from the data pre-processing. So we are going to load the data. I'm going to cover the different ways of loading the data from different data sources. And then single data manipulations. And maybe you can use only this part as an ETL or feature engineering. So there are lots of new jobs trending now. For example, feature engineering is a trending job. And you can only cover this 10 to 15 courses. And then you can use this knowledge as a new job in the industry as feature engineer. Also, I'm going to cover the machine learning part and I'm going to cover most of the very famous and trending algorithms. So you can just follow up this part and you can start as a data scientist or data mining expert. On the other hand, I'm going to cover some visualization techniques and some evaluation techniques. So you can even be a data mining tester or data visualization expert. 
Also, I'm going to talk about the business problems and data analysis techniques so you can be a data analyst or business analyst after covering these courses. Also, I'm going to cover the end-to-end -end project management techniques for data science and machine learning so you can be a data science project manager after these courses. So, this course is an introduction, introduction level to expert level course and we are going to follow an end-to-end -end approach so you are going to see all the steps for a huge data science project within this course. So one more time, welcome to the end-to-end -end data science practicum with Naim during the course, enjoy the data science.